One of the things that puts us off having difficult conversations is wondering what's going to happen after I've started it. In other words, is there going to be any backlash? And if there is, what do I do with it? What I'm going to ask you to do in a moment is to think about the top three things, the top three reactions that put you off starting difficult conversations. Pause the video and do that now. OK, welcome back. I'd be prepared to guess that one of the things that you're most worried about is the other person getting angry with you. We are programmed to really dislike anger. It's really disconcerting, even frightening, to be on the receiving end of somebody who is being, quote unquote, nasty to us. But anger is usually the result of fear. And actually, what we're doing by enduring anger is allowing the person to work through the feeling. When you do actually encounter a big feeling like anger or disappointment or frustration uh, or indeed anxiety in the other person, what do you typically do now? So pause the video and ask yourself and scribble down, what do I do now when I'm faced by big feelings coming the other way? Pause the video now. OK, so how did you get on? It might be that some of your responses were things like, well, I, I try and lighten the mood or I try and explain the logic of the situation, hoping the other person will calm down or I try and rationalise things. Or uh, maybe I tell them how I'm feeling or that it's not that bad, but somehow I do something to them, hoping that it'll make things better. It's a completely natural tendency. But what I'm going to ask you to consider and then to do a bit of preparation for in a minute is to actually pay attention to the feelings behind the words. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause. But before then, call to mind a person with whom you have had a difficult conversation where you got some sort of big reaction coming back. And think about what feelings you thought you were seeing. So pause the video now and list down the sort of feelings that you thought the person was having when they were having a kind of go back at you. Pause the video now. OK, how did you get on? It's quite tricky sometimes, isn't it? But if you're used to spotting feelings, it's so much easier to bear with them. It's almost like sort of some sort of battle inoculation. If you get used to spotting feelings, naming feelings, talking about feelings, it makes them less scary, less unpalatable. Now I want to share with you something else. And that is the thought that you can actually reflect back the sorts of feelings that you just wrote down. And here's how the language goes. And I'm going to do it to you, pretending that you and I are having a difficult word. You seem really annoyed about the fact that I've raised this topic. You seem frustrated with me for disagreeing with you. You sound really fed up with her. If you notice what I'm doing, I'm actually naming the feeling that I think you're having the most of and saying what I think it's about. It's a kind of humble hypothesis. So as a last little bit of prep work, pause the video in a second and write down a, literally one sentence about what you're reflecting back to that person might have sounded like. Or if you've still got the conversation to come or you're going to have another bite at it, what it's going to sound like when you open your mouth and say, you seem dot dot dot, you sound dot 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 you're obviously dot 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 pause the video now
Okay, welcome back for the last time. So you should have a number of very simple sentences and you only need one at a time. And when you do this in real life, what you'll find with practice is that those intimidating conversations do get easier because you know that you're going to be able to deal with what comes in the other direction. And people will really thank you for it if you manage to pay attention to how they're feeling. And you will find that a whole load of different kinds of difficult conversations fall under your grasp much more easily. Good luck.